doesn't matter if you're active roster, practice squad. He does a great job of preparing us for you know whatever may come because that's the nature of the NFL. You never know. Why did the screens work so well in the second half? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, it's our offensive line just they've always done a great job, and um, I just did my best to set it up. Mm -hmm. uh, you put on Janoris Jenkins. Mm -hmm. What uh, what was that? You got to get a name for that one. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I was just playing football. Uh, I don't know. Just made a move. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously getting you in the open field seemed to, seemed to be working out, mm -hmm. working out, working out. Was that something that they had? You guys had game plan. I know the injuries. Um, propelled you into the, uh, the running part of it, but what about the receiving part? I mean, yeah, I mean, whenever you're in there, regardless, I, I you know, I work with uh, the ones throughout the week, so, you know, I get opportunities to, to get into space and stuff like that, so uh, I know they've always known uh, it's just a matter of opportunity, situation. So. I guess I asked because the first play was two back and mm -hmm. you got that kind of, yeah. that little foot pass to you, that must have been something that was in the game plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we, that's, that's something that we game plan for this week. Mm -hmm. As bad as things were going the last three weeks, how much of a relief was this when you guys came back? Well, I mean, I, I feel like our mindset was kind of the same. You know, we just continued to work. We just continued to approach each day like we have since training camp. You know, just keep working, put our heads down, stay close knit. Um, you know, trusting our coaches, trusting the organization, and you know, it finally it produced on the field. How, how have you managed to stay patient? I mean, you've been on the practice squad, you're 53. I mean, you haven't really been losing you much. Um, how do you stay patient? Just having people in my circle, just keeping me grounded, uh, remembering that you know, God has a plan always, you know, and I think one of the biggest things that He's been teaching me is patience. So, uh, that's kind of what I got from it. So, you know. I know, I know the nature of the NFL again. You know, you never know when your opportunity might come. So, you know, why, why worry about, you know, you not getting it right now? You, you're in a bad mood, you're being negative, then your opportunity comes and you could, you could mess it up. Boston, you, know, you Kirk, and, and Greg Ward are all in the practice squad this year. Does it mean something to you that all three of you guys were in this position? Yeah, man, me and Greg, me and Greg, we ride from uh, the apartments to the facility together, and we've always talked about our opportunity coming and just making the most of it. And I would say, like, you know, I was down a lot more than he was, and his mindset is just contagious. You know, just the way he approaches every single day. You know, I got a, I got a lot, a lot of respect for him, and just to see him be able to be successful, man, that's. I love seeing that. That's that's my guy. You said that the, that play, the two back one with you, and a couple other ones were in the play, the play uh, you know, in the game plan. Why? Why do they? Why do they want to feature you in this game? I know there were a couple other times this season when they have. But it seemed like this was a concerted effort. Oh, uh, I mean, this is this is. Uh, I don't know. That's about my pay grade. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is injuries. You know, Miles was out, so it's the next man up. So. Trusted him, he looked at me. I knew, I knew he was coming to me, so I knew I had to get open. Greg, you, you guys, Greg, you guys were down on two wide receivers. Um, I mean, how did you guys kind of, you and JJ, kind of come together and pull us out? Uh, just, in, I would say, just encouraging each other. You know, just uh, talk, talking to each other in the huddle, talking to each other on the sideline, and just showing um, a lot of heart, man. We we really wanted this win, and we went out there. Told each other that we have each other back, man. We went out there and did it. Greg, you, you and, and, and Kirk were on the practice squad not that long ago. Um, what does it mean to you guys to get your opportunity and then make the most of it? Man, it, it it really means a lot. Cause me, Boston, and Perk, we always talk, especially about about these moments. And um, I don't know, man. It's just a whole different feel with us three, man. We've been talking about this for a long time, man. So. The, the biggest thing is we got to make sure that we, we just stay focused, you know. Enjoy this win, but we got to watch the next week. You know, we ain't made it to no playoffs. We ain't celebrating because we, uh, we got in the playoffs because we won the division, none of that. We just got to make sure that we, we, we enjoy this one and get ready for Wednesday when it's time to uh, talk about the Redskins. Down 17-3, to three, obviously things weren't going your way at halftime. At what point, I'm sure you guys were trailing at that moment, but do you remember a point in your mind when you maybe saw the, line, the eyes of the Giants at one point and thought, we've got them, we can, we can finish this out? The, the first two stops, you know, of the, of the, of the series, um, you know, when we first came out in the second half, uh, the first two stops, you know, we was like, okay, I'm starting to feel it. You know, offense go down, they get a score. Before the third quarter ends, man, we got a shot. And so we went out there, we scored, and then um, 
what's the name, missed the field goal. And man, you know, that could have been that could have been one of those turning points too, where we like, dang, you know, stuff just not going our way, but we just kept fighting. You know, we need another stop. Defense, we stopped them. You know, how many did they have seven? That's all they had was uh 17. Okay, yep. So, you know, for us to stay together through all that adversity, you know, it's that's what's promising. And so, uh, for us, all we gotta do is is focus on one week at a time and we we handle whoever whenever we whenever we play them. What do you see from Vinnie Curry? He's got three sacks now in the last two games. I know. I'm hyped for him. You know, I told him, man, you know, like we say all the time, them sacks come in budgets. I'm stuck at seven and a half. I'm trying to fight to get them double digits. But at the end of the day, if we win, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But I'm happy for Vinny, you know, because I know, um, you know, Vinny, Vinny been here. He's one of the guys that's been here with me, you know, uh, just as long as Fletch almost, you know. Um, and so uh, I always love to see guys, you know, just make plays because I know how good that feel, you know, especially when you win too. It, it sucks when you make plays and you get two sacks and then, but you lose though. It really don't matter, you know what I'm saying? But um, I, I do, um, you know, love that Vinny, you know, uh, contributed and helped and helped the team uh, this week. Brandon Doug said there wasn't really a lot of screaming and shouting at halftime. How did you guys? Nah. Just kind of refocus uh, we just was like, you know, hey man, we've been stopping them. We made it. We lost. We, we lost two plays. You know, off. You know, one of them was um, uh, one of us didn't get in the call. Uh, the, the halftime play where uh, what's the name? Darby got beat. He just didn't hear the call because uh, I know he would have made that play. Uh, but at the end of the day. We can't have that, you know, against the good teams. You know, that's that's how you get beat. But we do know that, um, you know, we're going to get it fixed. It's not, it's never perfect. But I do love uh, how we stuck together through all that was going on. You know, it was a lot of boos, a lot of everything, a lot of y'all writing headlines before we even won the game. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it was fun, though, um, just to get that win, get back in the winning column. Because wasn't that three straight? Three straight we lost already? Yep. Yeah, so four straight wouldn't have looked good in Philly. <laughs> I was scared to walk outside, boy, if we'd have lost this one. But, um, you know, I'm just excited, man. Um, you know, let's just enjoy this one, you know, and then we'll worry about Wednesday when it come. Just to make that impact in the game and uh, help come back and, and win that game means a lot. And I told him I got his back and he got my back, so uh, we in this together. How was Carson at the beginning of that drive in overtime? Did he oh, have anything, anything special to say? Oh, man. I, I mean, that's a bad man right there. <laughs> Definitely a bad man. And, uh, we got all the confidence in him. Uh, we got his back just like just like any win, win lose, or draw. It don't matter. Um, but, yeah, he played a hell of a game today. Is that impressive that, you know, things aren't going well, but then at the end he has his kind of best plays? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that just shows the type of team that we really are. You know, um, we don't give up. Just gotta keep grinding. Don't matter what the score is, we're gonna keep grinding. Then, when we come together like that, then we come out with Ws. So, there was no. What was the locker room like at halftime? Was there any pan I mean, oh, no. was panic? Oh no, we or were people upset. Nobody was panicking at all, man. We had a we had 30 minutes left, and we we know how we get ourselves in these situations. But we, we all came together in all three phases of the, of the game. Uh, we, I feel like we came back and dominated. When, I don't think we just came back. We came back and dominated. When you, is there an injury? Yeah, a little bit, but uh, I'll be fine, though. How, how can something like this, a comeback like this, kind of propel you for the rest of the season? I mean, we, we said we got four games left to keep ourselves in this in this playoff run. Uh, we got one down. We got three more to go. But we taking it one week at a time. That's all we can do. So we're going to get back to work on Wednesday. What stood out about Carson and uh, the second half in particular? Can you talk one more time? What stood out about Carson? Um, you know, over the course of the second half, he was leading you guys. Leadership. I say that. Uh, leadership, man. Uh, like I say, that's a bad man right there. Uh, he played a hell of a game, especially when it counts. And that just shows, like I said, it just shows the type of team we are. Uh, we all rallied together and we got the job done. Were there words for from him? Uh, everybody. It was on worse the field. Than everybody. Uh, we were locked in. And that you won this be a spark plug for the rest of the way? Um, at the end of the day, uh, we fought for four quarters. Um, it's a 24-hour mentality, you know what I'm saying? As far as tomorrow goes, uh, we watch the film, you know, get make the corrections, but uh, we can't get too high off this win, you know what I'm saying? We still got work to do. What changed in the second half? I think they had 29 yards and two first downs. So. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Swartz basically came in here and, and said, you know, it's, it's going to be on us. It's going to be on the defense. You know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta get those guys out the field and, and put our offense on the field because eventually we know the more we put them on the field, they're going to get in the end zone. 
how, how do you get how do you get through that? You know, in the days where you're not getting a chance to play in that you have to watch on Sundays. Like, how, how do you get through that and get to where you are now? Uh, it's all faith, faith in God and God. God's timing is perfect. You know, um, maybe it wasn't my time to be in at the beginning of the season, but He never makes any mistakes. So. At the end of the day, when I finally get my opportunity to go, I was ready to go. What do you guys on the practice squad do to kind of keep each other up? Right. Obviously, it's tough to not play on Sundays. Uh, we just continue to work, you know, each and every day after practice, catching jugs, running routes, just, you know, trying to get better each and every day, going in and lift, lifting on the days off, just, you know, just always working. What about the mental aspect of it, uh, of not playing on Sundays? while your teammates are out there trying to get through, you know. Uh, it's, it's tough because obviously you want to be out there to play, but, you know, you, you cheer on your guys when you get the opportunity and when you get your chance, you know, hopefully they cheer you on as well. What did you think tonight when you saw Alshon and everything off? Uh, get ready. <laughs> I mean, that's what they told me. It was like, uh, be ready to play some wide out a little bit uh, if someone gets tired and he ends up getting hurt. So, I mean, I was ready to go. Is there a special bond between you guys on the practice squad? I mean, I know a lot of guys come in from the draft and the cars are part of the draft, but so what about practice yeah you know because we all have the we're all in like the same position so we just got to try to keep ourselves up each and every day you know just always working just you by yourself facing that that whole group and then you pointed the point as it was landing and it went your way it did go our way i don't think i didn't call it so i can't take credit for it but good call by them <laughs> How much of a swing was this for this team? You're down 17-3 and things are not going very well and you come up with a big win here. I think it was good. I mean, the, the biggest thing is, you know, we had a, a lot of guys go down and we had a lot of contributions from some young guys, um, guys that, you know, were sitting on our practice squad maybe a couple months ago, came up with some big plays to help us win this game. Um, when obviously we didn't come out with a good start. So what can last this week, do? You had, last week after the first half, you said you only thought there was like two or three plays, and but then it, it kind of snowballed you in the second half. This this time, the first half, there were only a couple plays, but you were able to shut them down the second half. What changed this this from that? Yeah, I mean, I thought I thought uh, Schwartz did a good job at halftime, just making some uh, small adjustments. We didn't get out of character or throw the whole game plan out, um, but we made some adjustments to, to to you know combat what they were trying to do. Um, and guys did a good job of still trying to stop the run, even in some of the, the split safety um, things that we went to. So I just thought it was some good adjustments. Guys battle, had some big third down stops as well. Can you tell us the adjustments? Nah. Okay. <laughs> what can this do for you guys as a team to be down the way you were? And Miles was saying it felt different at halftime. Like nobody was hanging their heads. You know, what can it, a win like this do? I mean, you know, at the, at the end of the day, I think we know uh, where we are in the season and you know, kind of everything's on the line. So, um, you know, we plan like it. We know we're in the playoffs already. So for us, uh, obviously it's a good win, but this isn't the destination. You know, we didn't arrive anywhere. We got a lot of work to do. Um, excited to go on the road against the Redskins. What was it like at halftime? What were you guys like in here? I think nobody was panicking. It was real. I mean, everybody's just, you know, really it seemed like it was eager to get to the second half. You know, we made some adjustments. Uh, everybody just kind of, you know, we had some energy coming right right back out of the locker room. So uh, it, it was a good feeling to see everybody, you know, believing that, that we we're going to turn it around. So nobody I, had to make like, any kind of fiery speech or anything like that? No, not really. Not anything out of the normal. I know by the end of the game, or I'm sorry, I, I know you're you're not on offense, but by the end of the game, Carson had, had, had one health receiver. And, yeah. and I think only three guys were on the team opening day. Yeah. What did he show the, the team in the league tonight? Well, I mean, I thought obviously he played really well, but I think, you know, those young receivers showed up, you know, big time. Um, they were getting open, um, you know, G. Ward, J.J. and, and um, Perkins, you know, really showed up for us in, um, in some clutch situations, made some big catches, fought for some yards that we needed. Um, and obviously Carson did a great job with delivering the balls. Um, you know, so we needed it. It was, you know, some, some unexpected heroes in this game. And, and Boston out of the backfield really dominated and control kind of that, that running game for us, uh, even when Miles went out. So, you know, we had a lot of contributions. So it's, it's, that's what you want when you want to see a team win. You want to see everybody, you know, doing what they can to give us an what opportunity. What were the keys to stopping Saquon this, this time around? It's population to the football. He's, uh, to me, the best runner in football. Um, <clears throat> and there really are no one-on-ones. Just everybody get to the ball. If he makes somebody else miss, got to have another hat right on him. Malcolm, you guys obviously down 17-3 at the half. At some point in that second half, I know you guys had to have been behind me, you thought this, but when you looked across the line of scrimmage, at what point did you start feeling like, we've got these guys now? I mean, the whole game we felt like that. Uh, there was a couple big plays, but at no point did we feel like we couldn't 
you know, hold up or, or stop them. Um, so, yeah, we were a little aggressive. Uh, they, they, you know, broke a tackle, scored on the first one. I think the, the one right before the half. Um, I'm, I, I'm going to take blame for that. We didn't communicate enough blue coverage. But other than that, we made some adjustments and came back um, and just kind of consistently just took it one drive at a time, got off the field, got our offensive ball. What happened on what happened on that play? Because um, you know, uh, yeah, we just didn't. Uh, you know, like I said, as a as a signal caller back there in the secondary, didn't communicate the call enough, and we blew the coverage. You had a breakup on Tate mm-hmm. just in the uh, in the particular field. What, 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 what coverage you there? What, what was your responsibility? How were you able to get over there and make that play? Uh, so I was supposed to be in the middle. I was really kind of following Eli's eyes, and he came back late, and so I was just just able to change direction enough to. Get my hand on the football. Oh, that was my guy. On that third yeah. down play, um, at the end of the fourth quarter, did you think the ball was going to Sydney's way? One hundred percent. Did you warn him? <laughs> did you warn him? Yeah. I didn't. I mean, I felt like uh, hopefully he would know. <laughs> you know. Um, but no, I didn't. You know, I wasn't gonna freak him out or anything. We had confidence in him. Uh, you know, so to come off the sideline just cold and, and make a play like that, you know, it was big. Like I said, I think the, the proudest thing of, of this win is that we had so many guys that, you know aren't our main contributors really uh, push this win out for us. What have you seen out of Sydney in these, yeah, it's been yeah, kind of a bit of a struggle? Over yeah, I mean, I, I, can, I can imagine this has been a frustrating year for him. Um, not necessarily getting the, the time that he wants, but um, like I said, you, you never know in this league when your number's gonna get called. And we, we of all teams know, you know, anybody can come in at any play and so, his number got called for one play, and he made a huge one. You know, no bigger stop than that one. So, I think the whole team was proud of him and all the young guys that that played well. Jalen had mentioned that you you had a message for the, the defense on the way back out at halftime about how they want to be remembered. Yeah, at the end of the day, you know, for us, we understand that you know you drop one season's pretty much over with. Um, and so for us, if we want to be anything as a team, you know, these are the moments that we got to stand up. These are the moments that that we have left. Um, and so we're going to take advantage of every, you know, every opportunity, uh, you know, bowing down regardless of what the situation was, was not an option for us. Dirk said it was a matter of pride. It's pride just kicked I think so. Um, and, and, and one, two, I, you know, nobody, we, we work too hard to just fold it up and go home. And so for us, we got opportunities and we're going to take advantage of it. How big is this for him? Uh, I mean, in my head, Carson's always been a baller, man. So, I mean, whether it was this, I mean, I, I thought he was always playing well, man. So, I mean, I, Doesn't like, this do something for you there to win a game like this, that game-winning drive? Winning it's a, kind of the way they measure quarterbacks, right? I mean, I guess, man, I'm not a quarterback, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> but, uh, no, nah, I mean, extremely happy for him. I mean, he's, he was playing well all game. Um, you know, guys went down and you know, no matter who was in there, stepped up and, and caught the ball. So, whether it was a game-winning drive or not, I'm just happy to win the game. With, with, with the way the game was going, at what moment did you guys really feel like you had this? We always feel like, especially in the second half, the second half is ours. Uh, you know, we went out there that, that, that second half. It was nothing but confidence. It brings confidence in what we could do and what we can get done. Um, and, you know, as the momentum swung, you know, there was no doubt in our mind we are going to finish the game with a dub. Jeff, we, we practice with a guy, man. I see him all the time. Uh, and I was just saying, like, one guy he really emulates is, is Darren Sproles. And what I mean by that is he's always 110 miles an hour in anything he does. So the same speed that you just saw in the game is the exact same speed that he goes in practice. Uh, so it doesn't shock me at all that, you know, when he had an opportunity, he made the most of it. Um, realistically, it's probably just like practice for him because he's been doing the exact same speed, same cut, same look. So, you know, happy for him. You know, hopefully moving forward, you know, get some more touches and get more involved. Any things stand out from uh, halftime? Or anybody's voice kind of stand out above anyone? Any messages delivered, anything like that? Nah, man. It was enough time for talking, man. We got to win games. Like, you know, we're not just trying to have, what, three games left after this. You know, we're trying to get to the postseason and, and, and make a run. So, I mean, at, at what point do you stop saying, you know, we could do this, we could do that? N- enough of the talk. We just need to win games. We weren't happy. I mean, 
We were 17-3. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a one-game season, man. So, yeah, I mean, every guys were pissed off. Guys, you know, whatever it took to motivate guys and, you know, get the result we needed.